So I'm doing more research in the forgiveness of sins. And like I said, again, most religions do teach forgiveness of sins, right? Hinduism, Islam, right? Now, Hezbollah and things like that, or Hamas, again, right? Iran, you know, right, that Allah calls for forgiveness, right? And you're not to just attack a brother because you don't want him on your land, right? <laughs> That's the problem, right? <laughs> We're all brothers and sisters here. We're all born of the same God, but we tend to devalue humans for no reason other than they want to live around us and <laughs> we don't like them, right? That's wrong. That's wrong. Right, right. So we got to realize that whether you call God Krishna, Vishnu, right? I know. Shiva. Mm hmm. So they're all kind of rooted together in the names, even, right? Don't you see that? Right. So why did God say in the Gospel of John through Jesus, right? Again, any prophet speaking for God speaks for God, Muslims, including Jesus. And his disciples, right? You can't 700 years, 500, 700 years later, whenever it was, right? Shut off everything they said. And even Muhammad said that. You got to read all the books, right? Of religious people, right? Not just your own book, right? That's the problem. You're not doing what Muhammad said to do, right? To get to know your brothers, who are also following their word for God, right? Even Allah is the same as our word for God, right? That's the point, right? The Greeks call it Theo or Thea or Theos, right? For both, for both. But it might should be the Oaz uh, with an E-S, right? <laughs> So Theos with the E-S, right? Which means God ain't God, right? But again, that's my idea, right? Right. I know. Not saying I'm God, not saying I'm greater than everybody else, or again, right, ain't making mistakes sometimes myself, but like I told you too, you can't willfully have someone lie to me and then seduce me and then that's my fault either either when I'm looking for a girlfriend right if you don't want a girlfriend like I said that's fine right but if I do you can't tell me that you have a girlfriend right are you confusing something with something right are you thinking you Forget about sins? No. No. Well, why are you thinking that? Because of what? Jesus said in the book of John, whoever sins you forgive are forgiven and whoever sins you retain are retained? No. no. Jesus can't tell you that either. No, he can't. <laughs> but why did John say that? Did he? <laughs> did he say it because of Jesus or... Did someone write it in? Right. I don't know. I don't know. Because, see, Jesus taught of forgiven to be forgiven, right? For your own sins, right? But you don't tell nobody you have the right to condemn somebody. No. No, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> but that's what you're doing to me. You're trying to condemn me without a trial, without fairness, without... Mm -hmm. Me really trying to do nothing wrong, right? It's not finding a girlfriend. It's not finding a girlfriend. Even at 53, I need a girlfriend. I need a girlfriend. I'm still a boy trying to find a girlfriend, right? It's just a word, you know, for a male, for a male. 
you know? Why does being right and bar mm -hmm, usually mean son or boy, right? Sometimes, right? <laughs> Even though right. it also means a younger or older son, right? Men don't really have nothing to do with age. Yet, even in Hinduism, there's what's called an age of accountability, though it's five there, right? Oops, oops, <laughs> that's a little young, that's a little young. Well, I say 13, right? Like the Jews, right? That's when you become a man, right? Or a woman, I guess, right? In Latin communities, it's 15, I guess, you have your case scenario if you're female, right? Okay, okay. Like I told you, different cultures right, celebrate different ideas of this idea, right? Of when you even become a man, right? But like I said, uniformly, like in America, the ages differ per state, right? <laughs> For different things you can do or can't do, right? And see, ultimately, a parent's more responsible than their child, sir. <laughs> if they're breaking the law themselves, right? Now, no matter how much you want to argue about this, I, and walking into a new store, right? One I can go into at any time, right? One around my home, right? One I was not warned not to go into, right? And I met someone calling themselves Michelle. She's trying to do my nails, and I start asking her questions, right, while doing my nails. And uh, the next thing I know, I'm missing an hour, right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all I know about it, right? But it's like I either fell asleep in the chair or we did something and I was, my memory of it was removed and I had that happen to me before. Right. <laughs> and I've also had periods where I don't remember something happening and periods where I do remember something happening. Where I remember something differently happening than someone else, right? Said I did, right? <laughs> right. See, that's the problem too, right? Or... Again, someone might be trying to make me do something I wouldn't normally do, but by what I asked the person who was doing my nails, I was legally able to do it with it, right? That's the point, too, right? I don't normally do that, <laughs> whatever we did, right? But again, if the person leaves me somewhere else and they do something with me, right, and then we come back, right, or whatever, right, from doing whatever we did, right? It took over an hour <laughs> or a few minutes each time. <laughs> when I came to, we went back to doing the nails. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's when, again, right, it was back to what I was supposed to be doing in the store as well, right? Whatever she was doing with me, I don't remember. Neither one of us were supposed to do, probably, you know? You can't do something wrong by yourself <laughs> yeah. in that particular situation. All right. All right. But if two are tangoing and you don't want them to tango and they don't do it where you can prove it, <laughs> the tango. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> you got to realize you can't make it worse by blocking me out, right? Or better by letting me remember what happened. Right. I know. <laughs> Whatever me and the female did, right? Or didn't do in your opinion, right? See, if I don't remember what I did, I can't fully admit to it or mm -hmm, agree or disagree. And if I'm talking to someone for an hour or not, right? Usually it don't take me that long to talk to someone, but last day it did, right? 
Let's say I'm shorter, my videos on YouTube or something. I don't know. <laughs> or singing to her. I don't know. What I would do with her if I got along with her anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Wouldn't necessarily be sex first, unless, again, she'd been moving me first. Right? But you can't disprove or prove, right? She did or not, right? Nor can I remember to say. If she did or not, as long as she can say if she did or not, she ain't saying nothing, she ain't saying nothing, she ain't saying nothing right? I still can't do nothing about it, right? <laughs> so I was banned from the store three months later. <laughs> After having my nails done in November, December, and January. <laughs> right. right. So... Most things, most religions say if you sincerely repent of any mistake, right, you can be forgiven even of infidelity or fornication, right? Right, right. <laughs> it's frowned upon too, but again, I know. It's also understood that if you have committed these things with another person, right, before or after you're married or not, right? The best thing to do is forgive it, like with the woman Jesus and the Bible shows an example of, right? Ain't it? Ain't it? <laughs> now, the Jewish answer was to stone it, right? <laughs> but both, folks. <laughs> In other words, if you set the female free, you gotta set the male free, you can't. Do it with one or the other, by the way. By the way. Ah. <laughs> that's another thing, too. If I went in there innocently just trying to get my nails done before the movie, <laughs> and the girl or the female or the young lady, teenager, whatever she was, right? Or adult woman, right? Of 37, right? Amen. <laughs> Invited me somewhere else in the store and did things with me, whatever they were. <laughs> I agreed with it once I got into the store and she acted like she wanted to. Do. Right. Not trying to make her do it. <laughs> don't know her to make her do it. And don't know why she's doing it, but I've had it done before. Right. And that depends on who you ask about it. Some people have replaced the true religion with their own version of a religion where they think they can actually forgive or not forgive right? a person for their sins, right? Well, that's you playing God to that person, right? Now, sometimes a prophet might use a little sarcasm there, right? He's asking the disciples a question more than the statement, right? Now that I've died for the sins of the world, do you think whosoever sins you forgive are forgiven? Right. And whoever sins aren't forgiven aren't forgiven? Right. He's trying to make sure they don't do that. <laughs> right. His death is what forgives our sins on the or not, they're not. And no one's perfect here, right? That's the point Paul was making, right? And even if I'm looking for a new girlfriend now, <laughs> right? It don't mean I'm trying to sleep with every woman, even if I'm sleeping with a bunch of women I'm not aware of. I'm sleeping with her. But I usually don't do that, I know. I know what I don't know of. If I am doing that, me and the girl are also talking about it as if we want to become a couple, right? But then something draws her away or she has to leave, right? And then someone interferes with it by doing something to me before, mm-hmm, or after we did whatever we did or didn't do, right? Mm -hmm. I know how to both interact with a female normally or sexually or not, right? But what you're trying to do is say there's nowhere in the Bible that says I can have premarital sex when there is. Yes, there is. It also says if my intent is to marry the girl 
or the woman, depending on her age, that's honorable too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? I'm looking for a wife, right? Now, I was taught one wife, but even King Solomon had more than one said to King David, right? Now, if the women know about each other, <laughs> they're down the bound, right? You know, the meeting, you know what I mean? But if they don't know about each other, and I don't know I'm with a bunch of women or not, I'm not cheating on them by choice either, or conscious either, right? That's what I'm trying to tell them, too. I'm not trying to cheat on you, but I'm having these amnesia-type situations develop, right, where I don't remember anything, right? Is what I might would tell them hypothetically if they were to actually try to be with me. Right. Or not, or not. <laughs> See, once I start talking hypothetical, though, right. And you're telling someone else about my hypothetical discussion with someone else, right. You might be actually confusing that person about my intentions, right. When I don't really try to even go there with that person, right? By itself, by itself. But then, whatever is going on in their mind, all I can do is read their body language when I'm around them, right? I still don't know what they're thinking. I still don't know what's going on in their head or anything about them more than they're working in that area I'm going into, right? <laughs> whatever is going on there. <laughs> Right, right. So that's the point there, too, right? When we all love each other, we treat each other good, not evil, right? When we don't love each other, we try to make each other sometimes simple, does, even though the person don't want to do the same thing we're doing, right? That's the thing, too, right? Or isn't really trying to do what you're accusing them of doing which can come, become gossip, right? You're gossiping about me. <laughs> and all I'm doing is making up a hypothetical story, and I keep telling you that, too, that might could have happened, but I'm not sure it happened or not. Well, you might have know or daughter would know, but they're not saying, right? You are that, right? And I don't know who you are, right? <sighs> I keep telling you that, too. And the problem is, a person... Whoever that is is attacking me acts like they know, but they can't know unless they knew the child themselves, right? And did something with the child themselves, right? I know. But then they're trying to blame me for what they did with the child, but I might not do the same thing with the child myself if they were to come in there and meet, right? Oh, no. <laughs> but the only way you would know is a camera, but you're not showing the camera to anyone else, so no. Okay, if you got a clip, of someone interacting with a child in this late at night, right? And you can't identify who it is on the camera between the child and the adult, but someone has a video, right, of what appears to be, say, someone who looks a little like me, I don't know, right? Or different. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But if someone's trying to give you a video, you got to look at it carefully and see if you even look like, right? Or what's going on, right, in the whole scene, right? And I don't get rough with women. No, you don't. <laughs> Though the ones I was with, like I said, right, wanted to be with me. Right. Now, if a woman is wearing a robe but nothing else under it and comes in and you go into the kitchen with her and you mm -hmm, start kind of rubbing her and she starts letting you and you, know, <laughs> and you do it, you do it. You did it. And again, and again. <laughs> but if that don't happen, you go to sleep, that's fine too, right? Again, again. It all depends on it, right? <laughs> if you're both single at the time, no boyfriend or girlfriend, that's what Jesus means too with the woman at the well, right? Or if you're living with someone, you're not really going nowhere there. <laughs> and you stay for two days. So, uh, is it for the woman you met at the well or the whole town you stay for two days? Mm -hmm. Good question. Huh? 
really. Do you know? Do you know? No, you don't know. Right. But you gotta wonder, though. I don't know. Who is the center point of the whole story? Jesus and the woman. Well, is there any other person in the Bible who met someone at a similar location? Jacob and Moses' the servant who got Rebecca for Isaac to wife. For uh oh. <laughs> So do you think Jesus hung out for two days just so he could talk to the men of Samaria only <laughs> or cause he liked the woman and might have wanted to have a peace <laughs> as we say today. <laughs> but who's telling you what they did or didn't do and who knows if that's where the story ends, right? The Old Testament is <laughs> the only other example you have. Right. But then Isaiah talks of seven women knowing one man, right? Oh, did I say no? No. <laughs> right. Taking hold of one man. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Usually in Judaism. Right. Saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Oops. Oops. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Only. Only. <laughs> and what was Rachel's reproach? She couldn't have a baby. What was Rebecca's reproach? She was having problems conceiving with Isaac too. And what was Sarah's reproach? <laughs> they were having problems having a baby, Abraham and Sarah, too. Right. You got three generations of men, right? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob having problems conceiving with the woman, especially Jacob, he loved the most, right? But he took her sister first there, right? And then she gave him a concubine, Bilhah, and then. <laughs> Leah gave him Zippah, Zippah, right? And before you know it, he's with four women. <laughs> How fast was that? <laughs> but Jesus is also a scholar of the old first. <laughs> yes, he is. It's all Jesus would know. That's all Jesus would know. But are you being carnal about it? Because they're Francis Christian and Muslims and. I know. <laughs> Roman Catholics took over the story. Right. Not going or connecting it with the old and what Jesus would do there. Very <laughs> man. But their own belief systems in Rome in Rome. And connecting their belief with the Bible, which you could do in any religion. Right. You can find connections to any belief, and most people believe similar things about right and wrong. Right. Everybody has the same ideas, right? Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists, right? We all tend right. to have ten commandments, or certain commandments, especially the last five, right? Mm hmm. About honoring your parents, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Your mother and father, right? <laughs> Not killing someone or murdering them, right? Not stealing, right? Not committing adultery or fornication, right? If you're married, if you're married. And again, right? Not lying or bearing false witness or against your neighbor, against your neighbor. Or coveting. In other words, lusting or desiring your neighbor's goods, right? Nor are you to sabotage your neighbor's goods by planting plants in the back of his yard when there were no plants in the back of his yard, right? Before you put up a fence, right? That sabotage. I know, sabotage. 
I can't even cut that damn grass down now. <laughs> even if I wanted to. I don't know how. I don't know how. But it wasn't there before, and I didn't show it to you. Right. I didn't know that. I ain't gonna show it to you again if I can't even open my damn gate anymore. <laughs> to get into the damn door. <laughs> And I don't know why Maria came by. <laughs> she acted like her kid was missing. <laughs> but again, <laughs> she let me know something. So I consider her at least a friend. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. right? But she's trying to let me know something's going on. <laughs> right, right. I didn't know what's going on. Right. That's all I know now. That's all I know now. Mm. <sighs> But like I told you, I don't feel like I lost time with her. She came over and said her kitten had somehow fallen into my yard, which I'm no okay, not in my yard. And the uh, problem is there's grass all around my yard, and she couldn't even get into the fence. <laughs> no, she couldn't. No, she couldn't. So I'm confused, but I'm still following her and trying to help her fix her problem. Right. Whatever she's telling me the problem is, and I'm dealing with her by word of mouth, right? And only telling you what me and her actually talked about, which was, she said somehow her kitten had gotten to my yard, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm helping her find her kitten, right? <laughs> and again... <laughs> Then I saw my backyard, and then I'm wondering, well, how the hell her kid didn't even get in the backyard, but okay. <laughs> I'm still letting her get it, right? And then she's over there trying to get it near her fence, right? Which is also my fence. <laughs> right. But you know none of that grass was in there and had to be planted, right? You know there's no grass but grass in these yards, right? Before the fence was put up. <laughs> so it's kind of a ditchy area, I guess, right? For some of the back, back. Right. But only along the back would you find it. There's grass all around the fence, you know. From start to end, right? <laughs> As if planted there. Right? And I can't just cut that anytime I want. <laughs> Again, right? Or know what to do about it because it wasn't there. I know. Until I meant put up the fence, right? Even Miss Sarah's yard and my yard and uh, were once connected. And she put up a fence too. But again, I know. The reason I'm trying to put up one is I wanted a private area to swim in, right? And exercise all year round. Because the pool we have is only open during the summer. Right? And unlike kids who go to school all day, I'm home all day alone. <laughs> kids ain't even supposed to be around me during the summer. During school and the summer they got the Pull over there, right? That's true. You understand? <laughs> right. It's called making a mountain from a molehill, right? <laughs> of a problem. Of a problem. <laughs> or a molehill into a mountain, into a mountain, right? And I'm telling you why. I'm telling you why. I'm trying to lose weight in the water. Helps with the buoyancy if you have arthritic pain in your joints. Right. Mm. <laughs> Does it scare you or something? Right. Why? Why? Yes, most religions, even Hinduism, talks of washing in water. And rivers to be clean. <laughs> hmm. And to wash away your sins. Thou can wash away our sins. 
Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Well, I don't know. They have the blood of the goddess and the blood of the... I don't know. I know what I'm talking about. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> one river turns red. Because of one of the goddesses, right? And again... I pointed out, oh, the Nile also turned red, but <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> I know it is. Don't know why the one in India does, but okay, <laughs> okay. They say it represents a female's menstrual cycle too. <laughs> but you make it a bad thing, Israelites. <laughs> All women do it. <laughs> And it's cause of our sin with this thing we weren't supposed to sin with them. <laughs> that she thought was a serpent in a tree somewhere <laughs> in the Garden of Eden, which is the paradise we came from, right? So the thing is, most of the religions are after we're kicked out of paradise too, so look into them, right? But know this, there's truth and lies, whether intentional or unintentional, about certain details. I'm not saying from a certain point these things didn't occur. Right. Like, Lord Rama is after or around you know, the same time. Right. The Lord Rama also came from the heavens. Right. But so did Jesus. Hindus, Right. Jesus is our Lord from heaven. If you want to call him Rama, I understand, but we call him Jesus. Understand, right? Right. But our Jesus might be a little different than your Rama, right? Your Rama was male, right? Where our Jesus, Paul said the male and female are one in him, which means he's more androgynous, like Lord Shiva where he's half female, half male. Right. But the difference is, right, Lord Shiva, half of him is female um, in his body, the form, and the other half male in the chest area. Jesus has the mass duis in the Greek, in the Greek meaning two, two. It's plural, it's plural. The mastui is a single path to give suck to a child, right? Mastuis, two paths, two paths. I'm just trying to explain, right? Now, I think what Lord Shiva, though, when he's half male, half female in his form, right? What that represents is the sperm and egg joining together to reproduce a child, Right? Oh, oh. <laughs> the female and male become one through the union of the sperm and the egg. And I think that's what that represents. And Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva. Reproduction, reproduction. Really, really. Okay, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, all religions have similar beliefs, similar, right? But someone is afraid of someone figuring all this out, right? And combining the religions into a one world religion. But the problem is, you're not considering everything in the world sometimes, right? You don't want to deal with human beings that are called hermaphrodites, right? In medical science, or intersex people as they call themselves, right? Meaning, what they really are is both genders in one body, like Jesus was. Uh oh. <laughs> but the idea, I oh, know, in Genesis 6 is the Bini Elohim, <laughs> or Elohim, right? I oh, know. The sons of my God, if I said Elohim, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. Came down to earth and knew the daughters of Adam and Eve. 
who were in Eve's image. <laughs> that right? And was trying to steal from the sons of Adam the male image, their wives, their wives. You understand the problem? <laughs> yes, I understand the problem. I know. No, no. Yeah, that we call the problem. And they were trying to take wives of all whom they chose, right? And that would cause a problem, right? And that's why a flood happened, which even in India, there was a flood. <laughs> Lord Rama had to deal with that about 6,000 years ago, huh? Right, right. To what? To what? 12, 12. They say the last ice age was 12,000. The Hindus talk about a flood around 6,000, right? Or were there two floods, right? One more known about, one not. <laughs> That's known about, right? I don't know. I don't know. But the problem is, right? Peter warned about fire, right? Like a nuclear warhead or a neutron bomb or something, right? Melting the elements of the air of the year, right? Which wouldn't just mess things up for the people who were bombed, right? But also for the people left <laughs> behind, right? Really, really. <laughs> yep. I'm trying to help people get along. Get along, little doggy. Get along, right? <laughs> you don't seem like you want to get along with people and make up your own rules and wonder why people make mistakes around you when you're not following the rules yourself, right? Or don't care about the rules state by state, right? <laughs> Which is the point right here, right? So we got age gaps of 16 to 18 right. for statutory rape. Right. Also, ages a child can work or not. <laughs> Under a certain age, they can't work at all. Right. Once they reach that age, they can start working. Right. If it's 12 in Georgia, fine. Right. But they still are limited in the jobs they can do. The Board of Education and the Board of mm -hmm, Labor, right? The Labor Board, right? There are people elected who determine what a child can do or not do, right? Well, guess what? Nail tech is one of the jobs they can't do, so they're a certain age, right? Whether you knew that or not, I don't know what you knew, but I'm trying to tell whoever the idiot is who's attacking me, that's what it is in Georgia, right? Wherever you're at, I don't know, <laughs> right? What you're talking about. You're not even telling me you're in a different state, right? Or a different country. I don't know where you're at, right? But if you're in Georgia, the girl can't work till she's 16, right? <laughs> and you can't make her work till she's 16, even if she wants to work. <laughs> Legally until she's 16. <laughs> not that if you're telling me Honestly, to warn me, there's a 15-year-old girl working in my community or my county to watch out for, but don't tell me which salon she's working in. See, that defeats the purpose of all that. <laughs> right? If I don't know where she's working, I can't, of course, <laughs> avoid the salon she might be working in, huh? <laughs> there you go again. There you go again. <laughs> But like they said, mm -hmm. I can tell you something and you can tell me something, but if you're wrong and I'm wrong, we're both wrong, right? About doing something about it, right? <laughs> you're not more wrong about it than me and I'm not more wrong about it than you, but if it's something that's only, say, a year off, right? Either way, either way. <laughs> what you're doing is for your own Read, read, or why are you working a 15 year old? You said she had a hardship. Well, what's the hardship, right? Did her mother die? Right. That could be a hardship, I guess. I guess, <laughs> though, it's weird to work a 15 year old girl if her mother died. Yes, it is. I mean. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Did you abandon her? <laughs> oh, wait. She's working in her father's store. Is that it? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Strange. <laughs>